Welcome to Last Night, where we talk about everything, or at least some things, that happened last night. I'm your host, Liv Eng Hill. My guest tonight is film critic Hugh Drand. He's here to talk about the Academy Awards show and its rocky past with science fiction and fantasy. So tell us, was last night's show a huge disappointment? Well Liv, Seth MacFarlane said it best. The Avengers was the most popular movie of 2012 and it only received one nomination. Which it lost by the way. But is it really about the most popular movie? Twilight Breaking Dawn is a really popular movie, but can it be said to be a better movie than Argo? Maybe not Breaking Dawn, but sci-fi has had a lot of great films, actors, and especially technical achievements in the last year. But the closest the Academy came to nominating any of them was Life of Pi which may, or may not have had a fantasy island depending on whether you think he was delusional. Even so, it's hardly a pattern. Look at the history of the Oscars. How many science fiction or fantasy movies have won Best Picture? 1. Lord of the Rings Return of the King in 2004 if you want to count around the world in 80 days in 1957, then we'll call it two. Maybe sci-fi and fantasy movies just weren't as good as the movies that won each year. There are sci-fi movies, truly classic ones, that weren't even nominated. 1983 came and went without a Best Picture nod for either Blade Runner or Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan. Empire Strikes Back? widely acknowledged as the best Star Wars movie, was never nominated, and neither was the original Superman movie. Jurassic Park didn't even get a nomination for Best Adapted Screenplay. Even Barat got a nomination for Best Adapted Screenplay, and then we come to last night. Jennifer Lawrence and Anne Hathaway proved that it's not because of the actors. They both won acting awards but not for the movies they'll be remembered for most, namely Hunger Games and The Dark Knight Rises. You think Anne Hathaway did a better job as Catwoman than she did as Fantine? My point is there is no reason, not one, that movies like Hunger Games, The Hobbit, The Dark Knight Rises, and certainly The Avengers, shouldn't have had more recognition last night. And certainly James Bond should have. They had two separate tributes to James Bond last night. Adele was amazing. And so was Judy Dench in Skyfall. Where is her acting nomination? The same place every acting directing and best film nomination for every other James Bond film is. Nowhere. Fourth Day Universe is going to fix all that tomorrow night, aren't they? Tell us about the Uni Awards, Liv. We've had a stunning number of sci-fi, fantasy, horror, and comic book movies this last year, and you all have one week left to vote on who you think should win. If your tick that Cloud Atlas didn't get a single nomination last night, or that there were no horror movies represented at the Oscars, or that The Hobbit didn't even get a Best Adapted Screenplay nod, then the Uni Awards are in one week. You can vote at the link below. Thank you huge for joining me here, and thank you all for watching last night. <laughs>